Okay, so this is just a short video showing you how to use the water slide decals that are in the store. Um, this is the sheet of the butterfly decals. I have my tip here. I've already prepared it with black. And the black is from Graffiti Nail Bar. And it is number 886. So we have two coats of that. I'm going to use some a matte top coat. This matte top coat is from In Vogue. And the only reason I'm doing matte top coat is because I am going to actually, with my design, I like this black because it's got a little sparkle in it. With my design, I am going to put some um, Apri drops and I need it to be matte for the Apri drops that I'm gonna put in while that's cooking in our curing in our lamp I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit more around the decal so decals are very easy to use this butterfly is gonna give you a cool holographic look what you can do is you can cut them out beforehand or you can cut them out on clients' nails. Um, well, before you put it on their nails, I use a sponge with water in order to uh, saturate my decal. So I'll take it, put it on my sponge. The sponge is just wet with water. It doesn't have to get too wet. I'm gonna tap in a little of this. Just a little. And I got some acetone and just a little, just a, a trash brush. So like, not the best brush that I own. Cause I don't wanna mess up the best brush that I own. I use acetone with mine. I don't use alcohol. I just want to soften the edges. Just soften it. When I put on water slide decals, I use either like a clear gel or a base coat. I got some cheapy base coat. And the reason I do that is because I like to cure my decal in in the um, jail. So this is just some base coat. Some no name brand. Grab my tweezers. Now I don't know if you paid attention earlier. Move that out of the way so it doesn't focus on it. But what I did was I clipped here and with anything that was technically flat you want to make sure you kind of perforate it a little bit so that it will fit and it will uh, curve to the nail. Slide him up just a smidge. And you see how when you let it get saturated properly, it just soaks right into your base coat. And let's cure that. It's a base coat, so it doesn't need to be cured that long. Probably like 10 or 15 seconds. So we're just trying to set it. From there nice and they're real neat and then I'm just gonna take a little bit more base coat cover the top put it back in our lap while that's curing let me grab some top coat I found this top coat it's really nice it's by Coco West it's their ultra glossy non-white it's pretty thick and I do like that. I like to use something thicker when I do a water slide decal. If you don't, or if you want to, you can always take and put a thin coat of builder gel over your decal for the sake of a demonstration. I'm not going to, cause it's a demonstration. There we go, let's cure it. And this Top coat, you only need 30 seconds. 
So I'm gonna cure that and then we'll come back for a final look. There we go, sped it up a little bit. And there we go. That's our water slide decal. That is the oil slick butterflies. It's a sheet that's about as big as a, maybe a little bit bigger than a four by six index card. And it's in the shop right now. So go ahead and grab you some. Thanks for joining me.